experience in that much shading. So anyway, um, let's say for April, I'd love to target 800 kilowatt hours. Is that too optimistic? Is that too much of a leap? Uh, I think that's really doable. If anything, maybe I think we're going to far beyond 800 if we have a reasonable April as I said before a lot of people have said that March wasn't a great month when they compare it to the last couple of years but here we are looking forward to May June July especially uh, really interested to see what figures we can generate through those months these are the three days that I picked out um, for a couple of reasons this is the 6th of March the 8th of March and I've cut the date off this one I think this was the 30th of March so this was our very best day of generation here and as you can see we still had quite considerable cloud cover for a few periods there and then a few clouds um, keeping that from a very smooth uh, profile on the left hand side so sorry the green is the solar generation on this uh, SunSync uh, app and on the left hand side it was only the 6th of March so it wasn't a huge generation day but you can see that nice clean profile as we absorb all that sun throughout the morning and then almost apart from a few clouds there we got quite a smooth transition as well so if anyone out there is interested in comparing that to their installation on the 6th of March depending where you are in the country it might fluctuate quite a lot but I'd be interested to see how that generation profile compares to your south facing aspect I would assume that you probably get a little bit more of a pronounced peak and perhaps not starting quite so early and finishing quite so late in the day. Um, anyway, any regrets as I wrap up this video? I think you can tell from my uh, my enthusiasm and my optimism that the North aspect that a lot of people discounted uh, has been very valuable. It's still doing the lion's share of the generation despite being not the ideal aspect. Yes, we had to cover that roof. But um, the price per panel was reasonable. It worked out better than it did on the front roof. Just because once you've got the scaffolding up and you've got people up there, panels are cheap. A couple of extra rails for us to maximise out that roof. I thought it was a no-brainer at the time and I'm happy that we did so. The only thing that I'm really looking at now is perhaps we need to revisit uh, home storage batteries even though we're going into the summer months now I'm thinking about maybe even just a small one maybe if it just sees us through the night so that we don't have to import any uh, expensive energy whatsoever okay uh, I hope that helps and you will see me next month I'm going to be focusing more of my efforts now on the solar production throughout the uh, summer months as now we've come out of the heating season another thing that I haven't addressed on this one is the ROI I will be getting into that as I get more data um, probably I'll, maybe I'll do that on a kind of quarterly basis we'll see if people are very interested in that then I can do it at more of a granular level but at the moment the ROI it's looking okay it's acceptable especially for a place that we plan to stay for a number of years so yeah at the moment no regrets uh, I'm happy with how things are going um, I'd love to hear from you uh, my viewers that have solar mm -hmm. How has your solar generation been? Is it in line with this? Are you happy with it? Um, any uh, pearls of wisdom, share them in the comments. Thank you. Bye.